So you're going, I'm a, I'm 40 years old. I'm a manager in the company where I work. I have a, a, a team of th 23 persons that report to me. You could say like that, um, between scrum masters and agile coaches. Right. And, uh, I try to empower the team. I try to not take decisions without talking to everyone and take decisions together. I try to look at myself as a leader and not as a manager so much. I try to coach them and support them and be there just to remove blockers, to try to uh, help them with the work. Uh, so I'm in that sweet spot. I would call it sweet spot maybe between the old manager and trying to be a, a, a new uh, a manager with new, uh, you know, this new philosophy that you predict. Um, what what should I what can you uh, give me as a tip or advice to be a great manager or should I just well, disappear management? <laughs> no, um, I think um, um, uh, I, I, I use the metaphor of the gardener in in mm -hmm. my first book um, where you're responsible for the garden uh to make the the the, the uh, nutrients available in the soil make sure that the sunlight can can reach the ground and a keep a fence around the garden to keep the predators out uh, mm. uh maybe a net over some of the berries or otherwise the birds are going to steal the berries and things like that so you protect your garden but you cannot do the growing for the garden. It has to do the growing itself, right? So I, I like that metaphor because it, it's an example of manage the system, not the people. You put up the constraints around self-organization and you say, well, I'm, I'm, I will protect it uh, from bad things, from harm, but the growth and the value, it, it, has, to, it has to do that them, uh, it, itself, that self-organizing group of people. And of course, it would be nice if there's coaching and support. Um, you could compare that with some of the plants and trees. They have these little sticks to help them grow in the right direction, perhaps. That's the kind of role that you have as a as a um, maybe as a manager or leader that you support them a little bit so that growth is easier for them um but that is as much as you can do and um uh, nowadays i um uh, with my new work on on uh, as i said uh, uh, unfix is is my is my new work on organization design I call them the chiefs of the governance crew. So in any units, a self-organizing unit where you have different teams or crews that self-organize and maybe do dynamic reteaming in a spontaneous way, there needs to be a boundary around it and there needs to be a crew there, a governance crew, uh, the chiefs that are the managers. And they are the managers who decide uh, who is in, who is out, how much do people get paid um and uh, that's the main job of of the managers of uh, what i call the base that's the 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 uh that between i don't know a few to maximum 150 people perhaps the group of people that that everyone wants to belong to and by the way that is something that i find is missing in some of the uh, agile frameworks and other methods out there they focus only on product development uh, whether it is scaled agile framework or less or or whatever uh, disciplined agile you name it um, it's all lots of good stuff lots of good suggestions for process but they forget about why do people want to work here in the first place why, why, why do they want to hang out with, with others at this company? That is the sense of belonging, the sense of a tribe, they call that in the Spotify model. And I, that's one thing I like about the Spotify model, that they have this tribe concept. These are my people, <laughs> basically, that you're talking about. And the tribe, I call it the base, because that is your home, basically. The tribe uh, makes sure that there's uh, well that there's compensation, but there is also a sense of recognition that you are rewarded for uh, for for your accomplishments and that you are appreciated and that your 
main human motivators are addressed. And that ties into moving motivators of Manchu 3.0, of course. So curiosity and honor and accomplishment, uh, uh, etc. So the, 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 I think the main job of the manage, manager, which is the manager of the base of, of, that, of that tribe, is making sure that people love working there. That's your job as the manager. And if someone goes away, it's your fault. Because <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't keep them. <laughs> and actually, I, I, I heard an interesting podcast uh, just, uh, just earlier today when I was walking to my coffee bar <laughs> this, uh, this morning. I tend to listen to podcasts when I, when I walk through the city. And it was a Freakonomics episode uh, called why are there so many bad bosses <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, they said that it is very hard to measure the effectiveness of good managers basically there's almost no research that that can measure what the effectiveness is of managers but they found one exception they have been able to measure that with good managers fewer people quit their jobs there's a very clear correlation there. So that is, I think, maybe one of the most important reasons for having good managers is making sure you keep the good people, that they don't go away. Because <laughs> if someone else just pays them more, maybe they go elsewhere. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's that's the main job. Why do people love working there at your, at your unit, at your base, your tribe, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. <laughs> And, and make sure that they don't want to go away. And uh, I am happy and, and uh, still a little proud that a long time ago, I was able to make uh, uh, um, uh, retention uh, go up to 100% for the engineers in my part of the company. While it was much lower, they were quitting and many, they were not very happy. But I introduced agile thinking, we all introduced self-organizing teams, they became responsible for their own agendas, etc. And it was much more interesting, much more fun to work at, at the company then. And that was my responsibility as the manager, making sure that self-organization happened, that it was successful and that people didn't leave. So I, maybe that's number, job number one for the manager, keep your good people.